Hey everyone, Sean Smith here to talk about a new Amazon PPC report, updated brand new report in Amazon PPC that could be a potential game changer for how we optimize Amazon PPC in 2023 and moving forward. So let's go on ahead and dive right in. Let's take a look here. So there's a new report. I created a little like slide thing. Um, okay. Da, da, da. That's just a little bullet thing to remind myself. Okay. So it is a new report. It is hourly data at the campaign level. So Amazon is giving us sales per hour at the campaign level. So to get to this report first, I'm going to teach you how to get to it. You know, just as a reminder, you want to go to in your campaign manager, you want to click, you know, highlight over the little bar here, sponsored ads reports, click create report. And then what you want to do is report category, sponsored products, report type campaign, and you can see hourly is new. So you want to basically um, click on hourly and it will let you go back 14 days. That's it. So 14 days. And let's go into what it looks like. So downloaded, I blocked out some of the data because it is um, confidential data because it's an account that I work with, I manage their PPC. Um, and so we have here the data. And what I did was, you know, it's, I'm gonna have to manipulate and play around with the data. I just started looking at it myself and figure out, hey, how do I want this to be actionable? How can we use this for accounts to see if we can make better decisions? The tricky part, one of the limitations to this report that I don't like is that you can't filter by skew. So I would love to be able to see skew level data hourly because then I can make decisions based on that specific skew. But if you put your um, skew in your campaign name, you'll be able to do that because then you can filter under campaign name, you can filter by skew and then you can see by SKU what, um, which hours you're converting. So what I did was I created a pivot table. Let me show you what I did here. I, I basically like copied and pasted these over here, right? I mean, I, I could have done it without the copy and paste over here, but then I just clicked insert. I'll just teach you guys how I did it here and that way you can see it. Okay, and then what I did was I did the start time under rows, it's just simple, and then I did seven day total orders over here. And then you, what you wanna do is drag seven day total orders over to values. And then what I did was I highlighted this, I went home, um, conditional formatting, and I did color scales. And then I just did the first one. And what this does is it just makes it easier to read the data. I'm gonna make it bigger. That way we can take a look at it a little deeper. Oh, that's maybe too big. 26, maybe 20. It's a little better. Wish I could like, there we go. It's a little better. There we go. So, you know, this is at the account level. So I think I'm going to start looking at things at the account level, then break it down. Um, I have some ideas for what I want to do with this. We'll see what happens. Uh, but this will allow you to quickly see per hour, you know, what's doing be better, what's doing worse. So you can see here that these are highlighted based on number of orders. So the red is going to be less orders. And then the green is going to be more orders. And honestly, it's pretty clear here that looks like 7 a.m. and I'm and I mean this is all Pacific Standard Time so it looks like 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time all the way to uh, 1500 hours which uh, I think is 3 p.m. 12 yeah 3 p.m. is when it's the highest but I would say actually probably like 6 to 7 would be probably the the, the most ideal range I might even throw this in because 26, 19, we don't see the real big drop off until four here and then about 10 orders here. So it just gives me some insight into 
you know, per hour, how we sell and how many units we're selling per hour. And, you know, I actually am running day parting on one of my accounts. I've been running it for like a year now. And what it's done is it's helped with profit margin. Um, sales necessarily didn't go up because you're going to miss out on sales. So I see this as an opportunity to optimize for profit, which I think is in the current economic climate and where everything's going. A lot of accounts that I work with and a lot of people that I talk to are seeing their biz, their Amazon businesses decrease year over year, and it just continues to to have issues. And that's because of the economic situation and what's going on around the world. Um, there's so many different economic variables that are causing issues. So uh, we're seeing decreases in sales. But one thing to you can do is increase profit. And so you have to think about that. If you can, because we've been in, we've run tests where we decreased sales, but increased profit. And the profit is actually higher than it was when we had higher sales. And so I see this more as an opportunity to optimize for better profit. Now, um, so that's kind of where I see the value in terms of optimizing accounts at the moment, because I have been running day parting for a while and we used it. We did create, well, we were able to pull data at the hourly level in the business report because you can do that, but it's nice to be able to pull it in the campaign manager as well. And ideally, it would be best to break this down by SKU to figure out, hey, at what times did these SKUs perform best or worst? So that's what I'm going to be doing because I want to see how things behave and I want to learn. Who knows? I might not end up doing anything with this data, right? But who knows? I might run a test. I'm, there's a high probability I'll be running a test, to be honest, because I want to see what we can do with this to see if we can help with profit margin, mainly profit margin, to be honest, because I don't mind missing out on a few orders because these are PPC orders. So if I can, you know, pause it during the time when there's like no orders, th any orders we get from here is all profit. And... Amazon just doesn't go to zero. When you stop running ads, there is a float to it that, you know, you, you do make sales before it, the rank goes down. So pausing it overnight, you know, when, when, uh, our PPC would be performing worse, uh, according to this from, it would be from, you know, basically 2,100 hours, which is 9 PM P, uh, PST to, um, uh, 4 AM PST would be the ideal because all, all that would be 100% profit. All the sales that we get during that would be 100% profit. So we might see a drop in orders, but we might see an increase in total in margin and total profit. Now that's something that you're gonna wanna measure, measure using a tool because we use tools to measure profit per SKU at the account level, profit per brand, profit per product line, all of that. So I highly recommend taking a look at this report. I think it will help Amazon sellers figure out ways to increase profit for their account. And if you manage Amazon PPC accounts as a team member, as a consultant agency, this will be a good um, innovation that your um, the accounts that you work with, your clients will really appreciate. And it'll show that you're ahead of the curve and you're staying on top of the updates and you're constantly innovating because the reason I've been able to create processes over the years that have scaled up and been repeatable is because we've been innovating and testing and building larger data sets. And then when the data sets are large enough, then we can systematize it because we know we've got enough data to make changes with it. All right, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in other videos, my most popular video in the last 48 hours is, this is like my little YouTube studio, is Amazon PPC changing bids with new, um, hold on, let me go to the actual, let me view it on YouTube, just in case you're interested in, showing uh, up on the first page of an Google ad, might not be Amazon PPC changing bids with the new bulk file is another video that I recommend because it's been a really popular one and um, just helps you solve a quick problem uh, when it comes to optimization. And also, if you are interested in um, my Amazon PPC course in community, I'll just pop it in the description and um, you can click on it, take a look at it and see if it's something you'd want to want to want to hop in on. 
All right, everyone, hope you enjoyed this video and I'm um, very excited for this new report.